you pop a couple of shrooms, and we're just gonna kind of get this episode rocking and see how old Todd fucking we'll responds see how here it today. Does. Do you think that was enough? You don't think I should eat another one just in case? You know, if, are we making this a memorable episode for the folks? Maybe I'll just add a stem. That's it. That'll work. Before this show, we had a little discussion, and we agreed that since I have these shrooms left from the moonshine that they were infused in, um, yep. that I should eat one before the show. So I did. Pretty good yeah. chunk. You you thought it was a pretty good chunk? It was a nice chunk. Look, uh, you know, I think you should at least get a little bit of little tingles, you know, get something rocking, get a little bit, maybe some fl- some tracers. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it was a good chunk. It was a nice size cap. It was a nice little stem. You know, I say in 30 minutes, if you're not feeling too bubbly, go ahead and pop you another one, bro. You we'll know what see I mean? What you're happens. on your way down the block. Why turn? Why not just keep it going? Don't turn around and come home. That's Fucking what I'm destination. saying. You know what I had this morning after we did the Monday morning coffee sesh for the, the patron? I, you know, I was hurting. I need a little hair of the dog. So I drank myself a little screwdriver. Put a little splash of Canada Dry in there, and it was quite tasty. And I was back. Like I, that's sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes the race is over. You just need a pit stop. You know, some fresh tires. You know, top off your fuel tank. (laughs) Right back out, bro. And I'm back at it. Boom! 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 The new logo stuff. That's one of my favorite fucking race. noises, bro. I love it. I love it. I wish. I like, love being down in the pits when they're doing it. I wish. Like, I, it makes me want to get dressed. Like, I wish mm-hmm. that was going on. Like, why I would get in the morning when I would get dressed yeah. every day. It was like, there oh, was yeah. a pit crew helping me put on my mm-hmm. shoes. <laughs> Oh, thanks, man. Um, well, unless you're wearing four shoes, I think it's just gonna go. Bow, bow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you you pop a couple of shrooms, and we're just gonna kind of get this episode rocking and see how old Todd fucking old Uncle Todd we'll responds see how it here today. Does. Do you think that was enough? You don't think I should eat another one just in case? So that you know what I mean. Listen, quicker? I'm never gonna say don't eat another one. I mean, might as well. You know what I mean? If you want to. If you want, you know, if are we making this a memorable episode for the folks? Let's rock and roll, dude. Maybe just a stem. Maybe I'll just add a stem. I ate that big. Add a, add a small stem and a small cap. All right. So let's. I don't really want to see shit. That isn't. Well, there. you'll never see shit. You'll just see the the rules of reality mildly bend of physics. Like right? that's it. That'll work. You're not gonna. You don't see nothing. It's just. It's just like the energy you see the most energy that breaks through the items like a lot. And that's why, like, when you're done, when we're done with the podcast, you should go sit out at the bar, bro. You know what I mean? Go out there. Maybe go sit by the fire. Now, that's what we're talking. Yeah, you want to stare at best. a campfire, bro. When you are lit on some mushrooms. Hello, Mr. Campfire, my best friend. You know what I might have to do? I might just pull up a chair to the stove and just turn all the burners on. Fuck it. And just look, stare at that flame. Yeah, see what you can see. If you see something in there, fucking try to nudge it a little bit. <laughs> there might be see some. See I haven't cleaned the stove. There might be, you know, so every now and then a, a chunk of bread crust might flame up. You don't know what's going to happen. Maybe a little piece of chopped up sausage. Mm-hmm. By the way, sausage, you could eat sausage off the stove for a good two to three weeks, bro. It's just like a little piece of pork crackling down there, dude. It's like a little little pork rind. It just stays nice. And you That's can a good eat thing it. It's about nice about and crunchy. Pork. Well, yeah, you yeah. can, I mean, it just, it, it, and when it becomes like almost a jerky, like uh-huh. it just, it's been laying out for a long time and you find it and you're like, oh my God, there's a piece of pork. Like it's yeah. even better sometimes, you know, cause you guess can't who, chew through it. You, pork, pork beef jerky, you and me, that's who. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you just let it sit in your mouth, running between your cheek and yeah. gum. You just get that. Mm, mm-hmm. It's almost like a dip. Little piece of pig in here, just flavoring it up. Fresh, you know, right. I've been sitting on the stove for three weeks. Fuck it. I made sausage and eggs, you know, late November. You know what Fuck I mean? It. Remember when I was cooking breakfast three weeks ago? I got some left. I'm trying to decide if I'm feeling the shrooms yet. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just starting. It's just maybe the first little sense of it. Yeah. Happening. Maybe. I'm excited for you to go sit outside after this. Yeah, I, get, I wish I had fireworks. That would be cool. 
You know what? I mean, I also wish I had a monkey. If I had a monkey when this really kicks in, that'd be awesome. Mm. You know, you're going to also probably probably should smoke a few bowls, too, while you hit the mushrooms. It helps expedite the process, Todd. I probably should, but. No, you definitely should. I know I got to. milk and cookies. Edit. Weed and. Oh, you got to edit. I don't want to fuck up for. I'll say this. I will say this. That when you're rolling, when the shrooms pop in, the weed is, it's, it's, you don't get normal stone like you normally do. Yeah. Where you're like all cloudy. It's the mushrooms take precedent and the weed just kind of, at that point, it's like smoking a cigarette when you're drinking, right? Like, oh, you don't, the cigarette don't matter. Really. Right. It's just a kind of like a facilitator and it feels like cookies and milk, you know? Right. No, I like that. Some of the mushrooms, are they kicking in at all? Yeah. We're at about what? Oh, wait, we've been on the air minutes? so far for 35 minutes. You took them at the first couple of minutes. I told you it'd be a 30 minute mark. Mm-hmm. When you see things start working. Yeah, I'm starting to film a little bit. It's coming on. Okay. I think I think I'm in a good here, spot in another 10 minutes. Can we figure out the episode where we get absolutely blasted and where they, everybody, where we make some kind of like get lit, man, uh, get lit menu, right? Oh, yeah. So then we create a menu. Obviously, it has like four options, right? Mm-hmm. And then everybody has, we, we post it like as a poll. We're not going to get it out of control. Like outside of liquor, weed, and mushrooms. Like that's our. Right. And I don't even have any mushrooms. So like I have to be there with you. Yeah. But Natural we have to have shit. a menu. We're not going to do math. To, yeah. 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 I'm not doing math. I'm not doing anything stupid. But we give them the option of what we got to do. Yeah. What kind of pace? Through polls. Because there needs to be a like a standard like. Every five minutes or something, Jarrett yells, hey, it's time to boo. You got to do this. Take a shot. Yeah. You know, whatever. Take a hit. Uh, bong rip. Yeah. So what will happen is we can have you in a check. Will we go live for this maybe also so that people in the comments can. And we'll have a max out, right? Like, okay, we have a 10 rip. We have 10 rips. Jared can keep track with the checklist. We have 10 mm-hmm. rips each of weed. We got, ten, you know, five shots, you know, 10 beers. And five caps and stems or something like that. And then as people send them to us, we have to do it. And then Jared checks it off. And then once it's all checked off, it's kind of like a drugs bingo. I like this. I like this a lot. And then we, that, this is, I just figured this out. And then this is when, um, and then at the end, we just keep going for like another 30. Love it. This being live might be the best idea yet. I didn't think about that before, but yes, yes. Live bonus episode. And it's just us fucking our faces. Yes. At a at a at a rate that we can't control, the viewer controls it. It's kind of like a drug and alcohol bingo, which we do not. I don't know. How which there should be more of. Old people would. Well, we're gonna have to really go to Portland for this. We have to go yeah, to Portland. We have to be so in somewhere legal. where everything's legal. So we'll film it from Portland. We're going to fly to Portland. Yeah. And you know what? To make it official, I'm going to make a sign behind me that says I'm in Portland. Yeah. That way people know that we're not fucking, we're not staging this. We're actually there because yeah, there's signs behind us. Yeah. Even if they want, I'll take a picture of downtown Portland and put it as my green screen background. And I'll put J-I-C, which means just in case mm-hmm. we're in Portland. I'm going to wear a Trailblazers jersey. Gonna, that yeah, way you, you know. know. What? If I was in the NBA, I'd be in the, I'd be on the, 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 the Trailblazers <laughs> or the Nuggets. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's one of my original jokes, bro. And I was like, "Fucking not!" I don't know when I first started stand up. I go, "Man, I'd smoke a lot of weed if I was in the NBA. I'd be on the Blazers <laughs> or the Nuggets." <laughs> Stupid. I'll How do you feel with one. the mushrooms? I feel like I feel like I'm feeling it, but it's not you... done anything crazy. It's nothing crazy. 